Having trouble finding that special soulmate? Oh, I know. Are you ready to find love? So what do you think your ideal mate is? This I can solve for you. Check out Secrets of Birthdays, The Love and Lust Report at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Captain, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, cloudy, private, introverted, probably, maybe, well, possibly a little irritable today. The moon has now shifted into Sagittarius, and remember, the moon is the focusing agent of our emotions, so astrologers watch the moon to see where people will be moody. You are getting stirred in the subconscious for the next two and a half days, so this is the weeds in your soul garden, this is fears, this is self-sabotaging behavior. Your emotions are reflecting what is subconscious which is 95% of our consciousness is actually underwater. It's like an iceberg. So the bottom of the iceberg is getting kind of stirred. So if you find yourself uh, easily triggered, you find yourself wanting to point fingers, if you find yourself falling into pits of despair, this is all the past, and you can be rescued from it by grounding yourself in the present. What I always tell people in this transit is, do some exercise, get in your body, get out of the 12th house, get into reality. Even a really good meal will pull you out of that space. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun in Pisces, and part of the trigger, trigger may be your intellect. That's what Capricorns are working on, your intellectual state of awareness. This is mind games. This is your thought processes. Do they work for you or not work for you? All right? And yesterday we had a Uranus rule day, so there might have been an intellectual breakdown, a breakdown in communication, a breakdown in your own thought processes, maybe even a mental breakdown, minor one, right? Today it's time to break through. It's time to understand how did that happen? If you found yourself insulting or in an argument or something yesterday with someone else, today's a great day to communicate with that person. This is a Mercury rule day, so we're all a bit more sharp than usual. This is an excellent day to seek out and find information that will help you with your mind games and your attitude. And hopefully, the attitude or mind game was exposed in the last 24 hours that we're going to be working on. And Pluto, Pluto is showing that when it comes to reacting to others, you should listen to your gut. Pluto says, listen to your instincts between now and this summer when it comes to how you react to a situation. Pluto and Capricorn is helping Capricorns reconstruct their, uh, their ego from the ground up in the next decade. And where we are so far in that process is listen to your instincts. So if someone insults you, take a time out, listen. How should I respond? Listen to your gut. Don't listen to your mind, which is going to say calmness. Don't listen to your emotions, which is going to say, oh my God, you insulted me. Listen to your guides. What do they say? Or how do they say to respond? You will get the most learning, allowing your higher self to guide your ego between now and this summer. And it's Thursday. We've got Sadiq Salters, running Gator Room with Therapist, going live today. She's continuing her breath work this month, and now she's doing an episode on the breath of fire. See how this breathing technique can help you process your issues. Sadika is outside of her aromatherapy box, but right inside the wisdom of Sadika. Don't miss her. She's live everywhere Garden Blooms. All right, that's all I have for today, Capricorn. Tomorrow, Venus will be helping us out. Until then, live, love, be. So